tangents and radii. So we'll start in geometry and uh, draw ourselves a circle. Here we go. We'll choose the circle tool. We'll tap once for the center, once for the circumference. That'll do nicely. Next, we want to create a tangent somewhere down over here. We'll do so. We'll go to draw, construct, tangent to curve. And I'm just going to tap once on the curve here and we get a tangent drawn in. Next uh, is to put in a radius from A to C. So we'll use the line segment tool to do that and tap onto the center of the circle and then onto point C so that this is now a radius to the point of tangency. Right off to the measurement toolbar and let's measure how large is the angle between the tangent and the radius and it's saying 90. If we tap onto this icon it takes a copy of the angle out onto our work service. We can move it um, down a bit if we want and pop it there. I've deselected everything by tapping onto the work surface. Now, um, what happens to this angle as things change? What happens maybe if we make the diameter a bit smaller? So let's reduce the distance from B to A, but it's still uh, 90. If I tap onto C now and maybe move C around to here, it's still 90. And um, this is maybe worth uh, where we could learn some basics of animation. If we've got a path such as this circle and C, which is a point, then by choosing the point and selecting the path and tapping on to edit, animate, add animation, and then edit, animate, go once, um, Classpad now animates the point around the path for us and that was fairly easy to do but you'll notice the angle between the radius and the tangent is staying at 90 degrees.